In the 1980s, a reporter took the bold step of investigating the kidnap and release of Freddie Heineken and his driver, Ab Doderer. More than two decades later, the same reporter solved the case about the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, a case that had remained cold for several years, for which he won the prestigious Emmy Award. This reporter was known as the reporter who defied death due to his close relationship with gangsters, drug lords, and mafia bosses. Unfortunately, on the 15th of July, 20. 2021, this reporter was shot in the head, dying nine days later. This is the story of Peter Rudolf de Vries, the man who exposed the biggest criminals in the Netherlands. What led to his death? Who did Peter get involved with? And how did a crime reporter manage to stay safe after all these years? Peter R. de Vries was born in the Netherlands in 1956 and in 1978. After a brief stint in the Royal Netherlands Army, he became a journalist for the De Telegraph. Even though Though Peter started as a general journalist, his interest quickly shifted to crime, cold cases, and exposing criminals. In 1987, he joined another newspaper called The Actuel, which slowly began focusing extensively on true crime. Even though Peter de Vries was instrumental in the case of Christel Ambrosius, he wouldn't become a national figure until 1983, when he investigated the kidnapping of Freddie Heineken and his driver. His investigation not only exposed interesting facts about Cor Van Hoot and Willem Holieder, the kidnappers, he also developed a strange relationship with Van Hoot, which resulted in two books, The Heineken Case and The Kidnapping of Alfred Heineken. The latter would later be adapted into a feature movie in 2015. Later on, Peter would become one of the most known faces in the world of investigative journalism, appearing on talk shows and TV programs. Naturally, as he grew increasingly popular, his reputation made him a target of the mafia bosses he investigated. In fact, in early 2021, a Dutch reporter had asked him if he ever worried about his life. In response, Peter said, I'm not scared. That's part of the job. But this optimism will lead DeFries right to the firing line, which he unfortunately didn't survive. However, to understand the motive behind the shooting of DeFries, we must first take a look at the person he was investigating before his death, Reguan Tagi. Reguan Tagi is not a strange name in the Netherlands. In fact, at some point, Reguan was the most wanted man in the country, wanted for his ties to the illegal drug trade. He is alleged to be the key figure in Netherlands' rich and ever-growing Arco ecosystem, and also believed to be behind seven prominent assassinations in the country, including that of Dirk Weersom, a lawyer based in Amsterdam. Now here's where things get more interesting. Reggio Antagi and 16 others are involved in a case called the Marengo Trial, where they are being tried for a number of murders and alleged criminal connections. Interestingly, one of the key witnesses in this case is a man named Nabil B, whose testimony could send Tagi and the others to jail. Also, Nabil used to be a part of Tagi's gang, but has agreed to help the authorities, testifying against his former colleagues. Unfortunately, in revenge, this gang killed his brother, Reguan B, who wasn't at all involved in the life of drugs and crime. To make things even worse, Dirk Weersom, the lawyer who had been killed, was also representing Nabil B before his death. It didn't take a specialist to link Reguan Tagi to this murder, even if he has been in a high-security jail since 2019. All also, before his tragic death, Peter was representing Nabil B, again linking Reguan to his death. On the 6th of July, 2021, Peter R. de Vries left the RTL television studio in Amsterdam, where he had just appeared as a guest on a show. Just a few minutes of walking to his car, Peter was shot at the back of his head and was immediately rushed to the BU University Medical Center. Unfortunately, after fighting for his life for nine days, Peter eventually died from his injuries on the 15th of July 2021. A nationwide investigation began leading to the arrests of two men, Camille E. and Delano G., both with suspected ties to Reggio Antagi's vast crime empire. Also, the authorities have discovered that Delano could be related to Tagi, either as a cousin or nephew. However, there isn't enough evidence to support this claim. The trial for these two suspects began in early June, and while Delano has refused to share any information, Camille has denied his involvement, saying his only role was to drive his colleague to a certain location. The judges have slated the date of verdict 
to be the 14th of July, where both men are expected to receive life imprisonments. Do you think Reggio Antaghi had a role to play in the murder of Peter R. De Vries? Or is this an act of loyalty by Delano to get in the Mafia boss's good books? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Thanks for watching.